In other matters, the federal government has begun to stream down the 350,000 subscribers across the country to 15,000 in its pilot project of the Project T-MAX initiative as it commences a screening process in Lagos and all the centers. The Project T-MAX initiative is an enterprise centered around skills acquisition for the youths. The senior special assistant to the president on education interventions, Fela Bank Olemo, said the screening process will see about 3,000 students out of the 35,000 who registered in Lagos State be given a spot to acquire more vocational skills in their respective fields. Mr. Bank Olemo, while encouraging the first beneficiaries to take the initiative very seriously, said a three months program will help greatly in the cause of reducing the rising unemployment in the country. There are many opportunities around, so they should continue to scout and look for more opportunities. And by the way, this is a pilot. By God's grace, the pilot is just a beginning. And if it works and we do it well, uh, federal government, they are the funding people. Though, so let me not uh, speak for them, but I'm sure that it will be bigger and more people will be able to take part. This is just a, this is a pilot. And a pilot is to test the hypothesis and see that it works. Once we get the hypothesis and we see that, we see the strengths, the weaknesses, all the things we need to change, by the time they roll out to the final Phase. there'll be more people involved. The, the good thing for me is looking at this, the data we have shows that in Lagos and even across the country, the number one skill people picked were was tailoring and fashion design. The second one was beauty. Then the third one was more of ICT based graphics and all that. So that data also lets us know that these are what Nigerians want, want to learn. But beyond that, I mean, when, when, as we screen now, we're screening all across the states right now. We've picked 35 TVET centers that we're going to use to train in Lagos. Out of that 35, 33 of them are private sector owned, only two are government owned, you know, so we're excited that we're getting the private sector to help us train this, this, this um, residents. But beyond that, it's, it's a challenge to those that are going to be picked to take it very, very serious. This is a good development, actually coming directly from the federal government. Um, majority of the work we do get sponsorship from foreigners, which is something I've always kicked against, saying that we should have more sponsorship from the land itself. So this is a fantastic development. And um, we're looking at the end already from the beginning because we know FSD students do extremely well. We have over 90% over ninety percent job placement after training at FSD. And we're looking at bringing that excellent record to Project TMAX as well. 